I need to report a robbery. I'm getting robbed here at the pump. Good morning, Alex Green here. I'm on my way to Great Crossing High School. That is in Scott County, Georgetown, Kentucky. I'm coming to you live from the, there's the Mountain Parkway in case you've never seen it. Coming to you live from the Chev, I think this is a Chevron station here on the Mountain Parkway. About a little bit more than an hour away, stop to get some gas. Look at that, $29.21 for nine, almost 10 gallons. I'm gonna get off here and finish filling my vehicle up. We'll catch back up with you guys at the school. Welcome to Great Crossing High School. This is an amazing building. This is only like the back part of it. This is a huge campus. But they're having the meet at a field house. There's the field house. There's my Jeep, the school buses. I, this was about a two and a half hour drive from me. I asked the other referees to go ahead and start weigh-ins without me. All that good stuff. And I don't have a parking spot. So yeah. There's something about the smell of a high school wrestling room, mat room, whatever you want to call it, that you just can't replicate. I'm here putting my gear on for the meet. I'm here in Great Crossing's uh, mat room and the 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 smell the aroma is just something that you just cannot replicate every high school wrestling college wrestling room in the world smells exactly the same and you know what i'm talking about if you know you know here in the field house today where they're having the meet it's a very nice place like the locker room for the football weight room they got they can run four mats in here comfortably like a baseball like different type of like markings on the turf for different sports it's a pretty nice place this is a really nice campus just all together so this mat i'm on today this is sponsored by the prestigious kentucky wrestling officials association it's got the khsaa logo which is our state association there in the middle you can see the this is the mat that we run the state championship bouts on and it's also sponsored by the Kentucky Wrestling Coaches Association. So the Referee Association and the Coaches Association sponsor this mat that we use for the state finals. It's pretty cool to have our logos and emblems on it. See, this is something about wrestling. Like, if I was a kid, I would love to like, be able to go and just like wrestle other people when I was that age. And you know, you get to do it for free and you get to do it with people like you know people you don't know from other schools and whatever. Like you're here on a Saturday wrestling with your buddies, you know, playing games and stuff. To me that's what and these are I think this is like the middle school team. They're just out here just because there's it's high school meet but the middle school's here. But it's it's just cool to see, you know, kids interact like this because we all kinda everybody in wrestling kinda has the same mentality or it seems to be that way. Right here. We got the Youth of America subscribing yeah. to the uh, Look at that, right Alex Green YouTube channel. Go ahead. See, I got four uh, guys here from five. I'm sorry, from Scott County, Great Crossing. Look at that, Alex Green. Alex Green. It does my heart good to see the Youth of America subscribing to the Alex Green YouTube channel. So yeah, everybody's leaving. I think we're going to have a storm. You can't tell by the wind and all this rain and stuff. It's gonna be really, really fun driving home. Let's, let's do it. On the first vlog of this season, I've done at Madison Central. I was on the road driving at three. It is now 3.16. I've been driving for about, I don't know, 15 minutes or so to get back here to I-75, or 64, I'm sorry, to head home. It was great. Eight teams, four mats, four referees, and that's the way it should be. Show up at a decent time in the morning and you're out at a decent time in the evening. Again, I'll say there's no reason why, unless it's like a state, me, region, semi-state, something to that effect, why we have meets that go up until 9, 10 o'clock at night. There is no reason at all for us to ever have a wrestling meet outside, like I just said, what examples I give. Too many schools now have wrestling. We can get in, get the meets done, 
not wear the kids out, not wear the parents out, not wear the whole school out, and not wear the officials out, because it is no fun, believe me, spending all Saturday in a wrestling gym. So just something to think about. I'll catch back up with you guys shortly. I've got a few more things I wanna say for in this vlog. Overall, today was a great day. Had really good teams, had eight excellent teams there. Um, the other three referees, excellent job, great crossing. Everybody with great crossing, you guys done an excellent job. But there's something on my head that I, I've said it before in videos and I need to say it on this one is just because you're a fan, just because you're a spectator, a coach, whatever, wrestler, let's say you're a spectator or a parent or whatever and you've, you've paid your admission to get into the event. Just because you've paid your admission to get in does not mean you can say whatever you want to the referees and get by with it without something being said or something being done back. There's a stigma that, you know, fans pay their, you know, whatever, $5 a dollar to get into it. They can say what they want. No, that is not true. You can say what you want, but understand that you're not just saying something without a repercussion coming back. There was a couple um, times today that I had some parents, and I, you guys know I've been doing this, this is my 15th year doing varsity, 18th year overall, and done every level, done you know state tournaments, state duels, semi-state, regions, all that kind of stuff, then national tournaments, you know, uh, Tuesday night, elementary tournaments. What I'm getting at is we are losing referees at a crazy rate. Last year in Kentucky, we had 95 referees. As of this filming, we have 80. So that's 15 that decided to not relicense. If you ask the people, most of them, the people didn't relicense, most of them say they don't want to put up with the parents. You know, this doesn't pay enough to put up with what they have to deal with. So I'm saying this to those of you watching, those of you in school administration, those of you coaching, whatever the case is, make sure that you are also coaching and letting your parents know or the spectators know with your team that it is not hip it is as the kids would say it's not on fleet to you know stay on the referees referee makes a bad call okay they make a bad call get over it life is going to go on i have made mistakes there have been you guys can see i'm wearing a kentucky uh, sweatshirt. You guys know I love Kentucky football and basketball. They're, you know, it happens. Referees make bad calls. I will tell you, I've made bad calls. But the fans, for some reason, think that they are the ultimate end all be all voice and they want to let their voice be known. That's fine. If you want to cheer for your team, cheer for your kid, at, by all means. But stay off the referees. Stay off. The, there was actually. A situation today I didn't get it on video but there was a gentleman that I had to uh, on the pause of an action and I had to say I've heard enough out of you buddy and the gentleman sat down and I didn't hear another peep out of the rest of the day referees do have that prerogative to remove fans from the facility now that is on the school administration the tournament administration to remove them but if a referee feels that a fan or fans or spectators or whatever are interrupting the flow of the event, they can be removed. So just because you paid your admission does not mean that you have the ultimate uh, freedom of speech when it comes to officials. I'm just saying. All right, that's my rant. I needed some time to say it. I want to put it at the end of it. Other great crossing had nothing to do with great crossing. They done excellent, like I said. Just please. Be respectful to the officials at every level, elementary, middle school, and high school, college, whatever. Be respectful to our referees. Next week is Christmas. We'll catch back up with you guys on the next vlog. I think I've got to meet maybe this week. Still waiting to see if they're gonna have it or not. But if I do, you guys will come along. If not, we'll catch you on the next one and we'll see you guys on the mats.